So today, Evan, we are going to be diving one of Lake Michigan's most popular shipwrecks. It's the Mac. Tell us about the Mac. The Mac was purposely sunk in 2003, and it used to be an old car and passenger ferry. Yeah, it looks like a fantastic wreck. I'm super excited to get on it. Let's, uh, let's head to the dive boat and get under the waves. Today, we're diving with double action dive charters out of Hammond, Indiana. So we head south out of the city of Chicago and hook up with the dive boat at the Hammond Marina. The wreck we're diving today is affectionately nicknamed the Mac, but was really christened the Straits of Mackinac. The dive site is about an hour ride north of Hammond, past the city of Chicago. It's not far from the wreck of a wooden schooner that sank in 1883 called the Wells Burt. Make sure to check out our video on the Wells Burt after this one. The Straits of Mackinac is roughly 80 feet or 24 meters deep, which means we're going to be hitting a thermocline on the way down. A thermocline is a steep temperature change in the water. We run into the thermocline around 56 feet or 17 meters and experience a 14 degree drop in the water temperature. You can even see the change as a distortion in the water below. Our mission today is to explore the outer decks of the wreck and to circumnavigate around it back to the bow. The Straits of Mackinac is a 204 foot or 62 meter long car and passenger ferry. In her prime, she was a coal burning steamer that provided transportation back and forth across the actual Straits of Mackinac between the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan. Along the deck there are several openings that provide a glimpse of the interior. But further aft there is a larger cutout that allows divers access to explore the inside of the ship. Built in 1928 and intentionally sunk in 2003, the Straits of Mackinac is unique among Chicago area wreck sites because it was purposely sunk to help attract divers to the area and it certainly lured us. Moving aft, we watch as a fellow diver descends down to explore the interior. At the age of 15, Evan has certainly created an impressive diving resume, but as he's not yet trained for penetrating wrecks, we keep to our dive plan and explore the exterior of the ship. The Straits of Mackinac was a workhorse in its day. Built in 1957, when the Mackinac Bridge opened, the need to ferry people and cars across the Upper Peninsula of Michigan was no longer there and the ferry was taken out of service. Moving across the aft deck to the port side of the ship, we decide to circle back and explore the structure of the upper deck. Prior to sinking, a long and painstaking operation was undertaken to clear the ferry of anything harmful to the environment, including paint, asbestos, and oil. Since the ferry had been sitting for decades, time had also taken its toll on her. As a result, she was sunk without much of her superstructure intact. About all that remains is this central section that Evan and I are exploring and part of the smokestack. Passing where the pilot house would have been, we decide to cut back across the deck to the port side.
finding a large open cutout, we decide to drop in and take a quick look at the ship's framing. Initially destined to become scrap metal, the Straits of Mackinac is arguably now the city of Chicago's most popular shipwreck for divers to explore. She's also a short ride to the wreck of the Wells Bird, a wooden schooner sunk in 1883. Make sure to check out our video on diving the Wells Bird next. It's both a tragic and interesting story. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But we will see you next time, underwater.